Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from It's Simply Creative Crochet. Um, I have today a um, yarn uh, haul as well as a Timu order. Um, I have two, actually two yarn hauls that, that I have from two different days, but I just haven't shown anybody um, on the video yet um, what I got. So I thought I'd share everything all together today. Um, so first I think we'll start with the yarn. Um, so the first, um bag i got a few i think it was like last week i think um i got some chenille cozy chenille supreme um from walmart just like the um i don't know if, if they show the color on here doesn't show the color or i don't know where they put the color on this one but yeah it's like a beige color i got that one um i also got some white just classic white because Halloween's coming up and I figured that it might be good to um, use for um, like ghosts and that kind of stuff. So then I also got this really, really pretty purpley color. I thought that would be pretty for Halloween too, I think for, for, for uh, witches or bats even, that'd be nice. Um, and then yesterday I was out with my daughters doing a little bit of back to school shopping. Um, but my oldest daughter is 12 and the last couple months she's actually being um been changing her style and um becoming more a young lady than a uh a, a young girl or a young lady uh i get more young woman more than a young lady but um because everything uh she has now she is wanting different clothes like she wants like crop tops and short shorts and like that style whereas before it was like oversized hoodies and oversized shirts and sweatpants and um but i know it's just that time that her body's changing and like hormone hormones are changing and um yeah so she's we had to go shopping and i think my youngest daughter who is will be nine in september she got a couple shirts yesterday for back to school and uh i think that's all she got yesterday there wasn't very much at the one mall we went to it seemed more like teen and like adult style um so I'm going to take her to a different store to on Sunday and see if there's anything that she likes there. Um, and then my oldest daughter, Savannah, she got a shirt and um, also bought herself some Nike socks. And um, she's all about the, the name brand stuff now. So, um, but she got, they both got money from their grandparents. So they're using their own money to buy back to school type stuff. So that's what she got. Um, and then we went to Michael's yesterday. Um, after we did some shopping and I got a few things, um, yarn. So I got this one, which my, the, the one Michaels I went, I've been to before, I didn't have the tweeds. Um, so I, this is a different location that I went to on the other side of the city, um, that we went to, uh, cause we were at the mall near there. Um, so I figured I'd go check to see what kind of yarn they have there and they had different, uh, selection. So this one, we got the tweed, and this one is ivory tweed, which I thought that would be really pretty for um, making chickens for like the fall. Um, I did make one like that um, actually uh, a while ago. I uh, I used like the, this yarn, but I held a black um, acrylic yarn, like two strands, like this one plus the black acrylic, and it came out to the same kind of effect as the tweed and uh, I sold it at my last market actually and it was quite nice and then I got some more of the brown because that would be nice for a chicken as well or a chicken nugget or even um it'd be nice for a, a pumpkin too like a, a nice color shade of pumpkin even though pumpkins are orange or but I think the brown might be nice too um and then I got some orange like bright color orange this one is uh sweet snuggles light and it is peach pink so it's really pretty that'd be nice for pumpkins too or like a carrots and like that kind of like um halloweeny type stuff or even uh I'm trying to think what else you could do for halloween like part of a witch even or even that part like the, the wings of a bat would be pretty and i got some more black um i was almost out of my black and actually this this actually feels a lot softer than my last black my last black feel felt really rough when i was crocheting with it um i didn't really like it i still have some and but yeah this one feels much softer 
And then I also got the purple. And this one is shadow purple. So I thought that would be pretty. And then I also got um, the E6000, I think. Uh, Katie Being Creative mentioned this in her videos, I think, um, where she uses this, I think, um, to put her safety eyes on so that they're a little more secure. So I saw this at the store and I thought that I would give it a try because um, I've, I've struggled actually with my um, safety eyes like coming through the uh, um, yarn and not staying in place and it's super frustrating. <laughs> so I thought I'd give that a go. All right, so now we're gonna jump in. It didn't even come in an orange bag this time, but it is from Timu, <laughs> trust me. Um, which I thought was weird. Even my husband commented that, that it didn't come in an orange bag. <laughs> I did cut it open a little bit. I think I might have to cut it a little bit more um, because it's not quite open all the way, but let's see. I got something for my daughter as well. Uh, both my daughters actually, but, um, and some, a few other things, but we'll see. Let's see what we got here. I did get some yarn. This one, oh, this one's the, um, I believe the glow in the dark one. So it's very small, the white glow in the dark. So I'll have to see how it looks once I like crochet up like a ghost or something. That would be kind of cool. Um, and I got this for my daughter's uh, like for their toothpaste. Um, let's see if I can push it up so you can see. It's like the uh, to put on the end of the toothpaste uh, so the toothpaste can be pushed out. But it's a pig one. We have one on, on the one bottle we have upstairs, but it's like what my husband and I use and they don't like the same toothpaste. At least my youngest daughter doesn't like the same um, toothpaste that uh, I like because she likes more strawberry flavor and we, I like the mint. And then I got um, this here. This is to uh, like wash um, or to clean out like the window like sills, um, like, when, like when you open up the windows. And I believe this comes out. Let's see. Maybe. If I can figure out how to... Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, this is like the brush to like clean out the, where the window opens and closes. And then there's like a little scoop here too where you can actually like scoop it on if there's any dust onto the little scoop. Um, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so, let's see if I can figure out how to put this back in. <laughs> see nope that's not the right way I think there we go got it <laughs> I think I got it here we go so and then it can also hangs up if you want to hang it up like near the windows which I thought was nice um I got some more yarn it's really really pretty it's like pink and white and like a brownie beige kind of color like a chenille like um blanket material that was nice. Let's see what else. And I got some more yarn here. Let me open it up so I can feel what one of them feels like. But it, yeah, it's like this speckled in it. But I'll get one out to show you a little closer. Oh, it's so soft. Mm -hmm. but look at all those colors in there. It's like lilac and like I don't know if you can see the blue in there too and a bit of white but this one this package came um in a, in a bag of six small rolls I don't know if I have the um I don't think I have the uh price in here or not no but and then I got some stickers um I think I got three sets of stickers, maybe? Yes. Let's open these and can see what they look like. I thought that uh, I got the idea from some of the other people on YouTube and uh, Instagram where they would sell some stickers at their markets as well. Um, so these I know my daughter is going to love. Um, they're gnome stickers. <laughs> so you can see, see how cute. Isn't that adorable? There's one. Let me like go through and see if I can show you. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Look at how cute that is. Yeah. 
let's see. I'm trying to see some other ones here. Oh, this one's cute. Isn't that adorable? Oh, and I got one with like a donut. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my gosh. So sweet. <laughs> and this like black one. That's what does it say? Oh, this is like a Halloween-y one. This uh, scary, I think it says scary energy. I'm sorry, I can't have to look. Yeah, I can't read. <laughs> so there are glasses. I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but. <laughs> but it's like, a, and it has a nose ring too. That's kind of funny, yeah. Well, for a gnome, but I think it's neat. Oh, and there's one that's up like a, um, it's got a pumpkin, uh, apple, not pumpkin, an apple. Well, I'm not going to go through all of them anyway, but those are the one pack. And one, actually, there's one that's like, oh, that's a watermelon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm going to put those to the side and then I'll show you the next little package I got. They got two more little, um, little packages, I think. I think I only got two more. Maybe me three, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm using my phone so I can't remember what <laughs> what I had ordered so to check my uh, receipts. And I got ones that are turtles. I'll show you the first one. So cute. Oh, you can't really see that when it's on top of the other one because it's smaller. <laughs> I thought the turtles were so so cute. Oh, this one's pretty. Nice. Those are super cute. And then this one, it looks like, um, uh, sorry, I have my head down. <laughs> um, stickers, but they're all, I get more stickers, but they're like Squishamallow. So, the frog, and we got, oh, there's a cow. And we have, they're good size too. Triceratops, and that this one looks like a sloth. <laughs> but they're so cute. The whole bunch. Oh, there's one that looks like a bat. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry about that. I just had to run upstairs for a minute. Um, so, yes, this is Squishy Mallow stickers. So, there's lots there. There's even one that's a rainbow. <laughs> that's pretty cool. My girls are love these. Oh, there's a mermaid. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, so those are the squishy mallow ones. So I'm not sure if there's any more. Let's see. Yep, there's one, one more pack of stickers. So I might as well show you the, all the stickers at once. Out. They're all sticking to the package a little bit here. Okay. There we go. Oh. All right. These are also um, gnomes as well, I believe, or some of them. These ones I don't like as much. You know, they're okay. I think I prefer the other, like. I'll show you a few. And they seem these ones seem um a little more cheap to my in my opinion. Right. This one's this one says 
getting no more fast. <laughs> so they have different sayings, which is kind of neat. The sayings are nice. But yeah, the quality I find is um, is not as good as the other set that I had. This one's a happy Halloween. So some of the sayings are really cute. Okay. Uh, let's see what else they have here. This one is chillin' with my nomies. <laughs> they are some of them are pretty are pretty cute, but yeah, the quality I find is is like more like a paper thin paper consistency than um, the uh, other ones feel more of like a plastic like vinyl almost feeling. Um, but for the price, like you can't go wrong. I, I can't remember the price offhand because my, I, like I said, my phone has the prices. Um, but it was under five dollars, so it's probably a cut like two or three dollars. So not bad. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, what is this? I don't know what this is. We'll see what it is. I can't remember what I ordered. <laughs> Let's see, it's in a bag anyway. Oh, I know what this is. This is also for um, the window. It's to like clean out the uh, like the window uh, where like all the cracks are, and you slide it across. So that'll be good. We need that. Always can always use that. Um, then I also got some safety eyes. Let's see what we got here. Some glittery ones. So, let's see. Let's open them up and see what they look like. Let's see. This one's a purple. This one's these. Are, oh, so pretty. And it also it has like you take off the uh, the glitter and then like they're interchangeable. But it's got like blue. Green, yellow, purple, pink. Um, there are lots of colors there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the quality is quite nice. Just get one of the backings out and see. Oh, and those are sturdy too. I like those, the backings of them. They're not like the cheaper plastic. They look feel much sturdier, but see that very well but very cute and then I got another pack of eyes as well very it's pretty much the same thing but just a different size but yeah yeah and then I think is this the last thing in here no second last thing and then I got some uh, like uh, darning needles, but with the ones that are like the uh, the bent the bent ones. Let's see if you can see that. that has like the bend in the bottom. Because the ones I have right now are like the plasticky ones that um, don't have a bend. So I figured I might as well try it out and see if I like it. All right, and then I have this is for my. Uh, my daughter, my oldest daughter, I believe. I'm just gonna open it up, use my scissors here, and get her the box to show you. It's for her um, her night table, or she's using her like, night table as a, uh, um, to like have her makeup and like body care type uh, stuff on it. And so I thought that I'd get her something to organize uh, all of her stuff for it, so. Let's see if I can open it up and show you here. And then once I show you this, I thought I would show you a few of the things that I my completed uh, things. I know I I may have put on um, shorts like my short videos or whatever, um, but I can show it to you here, and it's um, more personal that way to have it in the video instead of a really short clip. Um, let's see what we got here. I think she'll like this. So, you can 
see that. And then it has like um, some drawers here, two drawers, and then it's got like all the um, like compartments. And then she was, I think, putting her, gonna put her like body sprays and deodorants and like all that kind of stuff to organize a bit better on the, her um, her night table or desk area. So I think she'll like that. I'll stick that in there. I don't, I'm not gonna put it back in the bag because she'll just be getting it right back out again. And all right, I'll just give me a quick second and I'll just go over just to um, a couple feet away to get the box of stuff that I have completed. And you'll probably see a theme here because I do have a, like two or three things, three things that I can count here right now um, of the same colored yarn <laughs> for like a few different, like there's three of one yarn and three of another yarn. So I just used whatever was next to me and and uh, so I ended up using some of the other, you know, the yarn so I didn't waste any of it. All right, so first I got the Easter peep. I know it's not Easter, but I think I don't think it really looks like an Easter peep because it's different colors. It's not like the traditional um, Easter kind of colors, pastel -y colors, but I really think that's cute. There you go. There's one there. And then I did a little mini octopus. Pretty cute. And I changed up um, the tentacles because I wanted kind of longer tentacles and not uh, so short so that's why it looks a little bit longer um it's super cute i think i put more like uh increases in the chains than what the pattern i said i believe and then this cute little guy this is the uh, mushy pop the itty bitty mushy pop um i think i, I got that I, I did get the pattern um i did two of the three kind of came in a pattern with three and i did two of them um, so this is the first one in the the pattern. So if you like it, um, it's on. It is on Etsy. I can't remember who it was, but I before I post this video, I will try to link it down below of the one the patterns of the ones that I'm posting here. So, but yeah, it has like a pop pop top, <laughs> which I think is super cute. <laughs> and then where is the other one? This one is the second. I think it's the second of the pattern, but. This is like the jellyfish, the itty bitty jelly pop fish thing. But it's got all the long tentacles here. And then it also has the pop top. But I think it's super cute. Um, if you're in Canada, um, what would you charge for something like this? Like these, this, um, so it fits on my hand like this. Um, same with the little um mushy pop it's like fits in your hand right it's a little bit this one's a little bigger uh not much just because they all the tentacles and the hat looks like it's bigger um i know that this one is like just five dollars like a five dollar item but the other ones i'm not sure if i should do 10 and then the peep i don't know if i should put for like 15 i don't know like i'm still pretty new at knowing what to really charge um it didn't take me it, it took me under an hour for the peep to do but I, I don't know. <laughs> and then I got two axolotls. Uh, the first axolotl I did was actually in this color, which I might have showed my daughter and my daughters and my youngest daughter's like, axolotls are supposed to be pink. So <laughs> I did that one. So when she said that I did make it in pink, but I didn't have darker pink. So I just did red as the um, accent color. Sorry if you can see dog hairs, but I live in a house with dogs and a cat, or dog and a cat, so. But that's, I think that's cute too. I might do other colors too. And then I did a pig, and the pattern had a, a shorter tail, but I wanted a bit longer curly tail. Um, but here's the pig, and it does have a, a more curly cue. And I know it's probably too long, but I think it's super cute. And then I made a, um, this is also, the axles are from Crochet Grove and this heart is also in the pattern with, um, that came with the axolotl pattern that from Crochet Grove. Um, and then I also did a leggy, um, 
Pop-Tart. <laughs> I think it's so cute. But you just like want to squish it. <laughs> it's so cute. I need to make more of different colors. I could even do a more of like a Halloween type pop tart if I wanted to like with like the green center and I could even like make stitches across it or something like a uh, more like a um a pillow pal or instead of a pop tart you could make it any way you wanted really but I do like the legs and arms um but yeah I could do like a black background or something with the green or purple and then like almost like a zombie type that'd be kind of cool like putting stitches across I might have to try that um but yeah that's all the things I've done um I'm also trying to work on a um my own pattern but it's my, my first time trying and I'm, I'm trying to do like a monster type pattern for like Halloween coming up we'll see how it goes I'm I'm writing things down I I don't know if it doesn't work it doesn't work but you don't know until you try something out so um if you like this video just hit like and subscribe and comment down below and um let me know um if you have any tips on what i should uh charge and if you're in canada um i know everybody's different but i'm still new um i don't know i know i sold my uh mabel chickens at the market for 15 dollars recently um last month so i think that that's a good price for the chickens um but the rest of them i don't really know so <laughs> all right everyone have a great day and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.